This is Ross at Woodfire Power, and in this video I'm going to talk about um, a solar reflective coating for your greenhouse. And the tools we'll be talking about using are a light instrument. This is a, from Hydro Farm, it's probably five or ten bucks, something like that. And this measures the intensity of the sunlight. Um, number two, a little kid's um, squirt gun, basically a squirter pool toy, probably five or ten bucks there. And um, this is a bucket of water with just lime in it. There are a bunch of different recipes for whitewash for a greenhouse, and I'm just using the straight lime from the construction yard. Whatever the whitest lime product you can find is, is fine in a flower. Um, in California, it doesn't rain much during the summer, so if it happened to rain, I can reapply it, and that makes it to where it's going to wash off really easily when wintertime does come and I want to remove the reflective coating. But in other areas across the country where it rains occasionally or frequently during the summer months, you might want a different kind of a whitewash that's going to stand up to the rain a bit better. So there are things you can buy that are expensive, but this was about six bucks for a bag from the lumber yard that had a hole in it that they gave sold me at half price. Um, about five or ten bucks for the light meter and about five or ten bucks for a water squirter. So what I want for the lettuce is somewhere around 60 percent sun exposure. I've got a lot of hours of sunlight during the day in the summertime and it's been getting too hot in the greenhouse so I've added a swamp cooler and I've also had a tarp up. You can see it laying down on the ground. I just pulled it down haven't put it away yet. So um, rather than the tarp on the outside which only covered a part of the greenhouse I want to put a reflective coating on the exterior that covers the entire greenhouse that I can then remove in the wintertime when I need the sun and so the whitewash is a very inexpensive way to do that. That reflects the sunlight and therefore the heat before it ever enters the greenhouse. That means it doesn't heat the air inside the greenhouse and I don't need to add cooling in order to remove it. So this is basically a passive um, energy conserving method. So let me just show you how easy it is to apply and then we'll go inside the greenhouse and take a look at what it looks like from the inside. So with this squirt gun, all I do, all it does is just suck it up and then it shoots out about a quarter inch stream. Which breaks into droplets. I just shoot it up wherever it doesn't look like it's high enough density. Okay, so let's go take a look inside and see what that looks like. The first thing is that right here I've calibrated this light meter so that when I'm pointing it directly at the sun, I had to put this piece of um, paper over the top, just a little hand towel, paper towel, 
But when I'm pointing it straight at the sun, I, I pick different things that I could put over it until the needle read exactly, you know, or pretty much exactly 500. So 100% of the solar radiation is 500 units on this meter needle. So now, from inside, you can see that there's differing amounts of um, attenuation of the sunlight. So here, it's about 80 percent. If it's just the plastic, it's about 90 percent. So this is just about 10 percent blockage, and that's the pattern that gives me about 10 percent. Here, it's a little bit more. That's about 350, so that's about 70 percent. So that's about 20 percent light blockage. And here you can see it's pretty heavily splattered. And we're down to about 300, so that would be 60 percent transmission. Again, there's about 10 percent that are removed from the plastic film itself. So here I'm down to about 60 percent, so that's 40 percent removal, but 10 is from the plastic. So about 30 percent um, reflection based on that large of a pattern. So what I can do is to come into the interior of the greenhouse and measure the sun transmission in different places and get it to where I'm at about well here I'm 25 percent here although there's the agribon is up there as well as the overcoating and the agribon is going to come down it didn't work for this application so 50% to 60% is where I want things to be and with that the amount of heat input to the greenhouse is dramatically reduced which means my swamp cooler over there will keep the interior cooler and um, things will work better and this is a totally passive uh, method so down here we're at 85, 83 degrees and that's down from what would probably be around 90, 95 degrees. And so this is working nicely. So that's a nice passive way of reducing your heat loading on your greenhouse is to just put a film over. And I'm just mixing straight lime, which comes off really easily. It can even crack and peel off so it's not going to stay up there but that means it's going to come off really easily in the winter time when I want it off you can add things like highly diluted latex white paint um, milk and other things in different people's recipes that will make it a little bit more durable but that also means it's more difficult to remove when winter time comes around if you have rains frequently in the summertime then you probably want to do something a little more durable and deal with having to scrub it off. <clears throat> Out here where I am we maybe have one rainstorm or two through the summer and so reapplying the um, covering would be simple it just takes maybe an hour to cover the whole greenhouse so it's no big deal. And so I'm opting <clears throat> for the easy removal. And that's it. So there you go. This is Ross at Wood Firepower. Have a great week.